Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. California DMV seems to want Tesla to advertise FSD and autopilot. Tesla likely showed off part of the Optimus prototype, stressing that the robot would love people. Tesla manufactures its 3 millionth car. And, Tesla Model Y is on track to be the world's best-selling car. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The California Department of Motor Vehicles DMV, seems to want Tesla to advertise its autopilot and full self-driving features to consumers. According to a report by the LA Times, the DMV isn't too happy about Tesla's use of the terms autopilot and FSD. And the state agency is also upset about Tesla's description of how navigating on autopilot from home works. According to the article, the California DMV thinks the following paragraph found on Tesla's website was misleading. That particular paragraph is part of Tesla's description of its autopilot and FSD features. Having seen FSD in action, we have seen it actually do this. We have seen FSD beta users speak into the microphone and tell the car where to go. And the car would go there. The only issue is that this technology is still in beta and the driver needs to be very aware of their surroundings. This means paying attention to the road. And in some cases, we have seen users take over safely. However, we have also witnessed FSD stop for cyclists and pedestrians, which many human drivers all too often don't do. People really don't pay attention when behind the wheel. If the DMV gets its way, it could revoke Tesla's licenses to make and sell EVs in the state. We don't have to tell you how bad this would be for jobs. The article noted that these remedies would probably be softer. A DMV spokesperson told the LA Times that it will ask that Tesla be required to advertise the capabilities of autopilot and FSD to consumers. The DMV will ask that Tesla will be required to advertise to consumers and better educate Tesla drivers about the capabilities of its autopilot and full self-driving features, including cautionary warnings regarding the limitations of the features and for other actions as appropriate given the violations, the agency said. In essence, the DMV is trying to force Tesla to buy advertising for its products and services. Bloomberg noted that Tesla has 15 days to respond to the DMV if it wants to dispute or defend itself. It should also be noted that Tesla is one of the state's largest employers, with over 45,000 employees. California already lost Tesla headquarters following the drama from 2020. California Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez made it very clear that Elon Musk and Tesla, a leading job provider, weren't welcome in the state. Although Tesla didn't close down its factories in California, the company relocated its headquarters to Austin, following Elon Musk's personal decision to move to the Texas capital. Personally, we don't blame him for moving out of a state where government officials are openly hostile toward Elon Musk. And the move has proven to be very beneficial for both Tesla and Texas. Following the relocation, Tesla seems to be doing very well and recently opened Giga Texas in April. Moving to the next update, Tesla likely showed off part of the Optimus prototype, stressing that the robot would love people. Tesla probably showed off part of the Optimus prototype during its annual shareholder meeting. The company photographed its hands folded in the shape of a heart, which probably indicates that the Tesla bot is made for people and will love them. Tesla continues to build the future by developing and releasing technologies for it. In August 2021, at AI Day, Tesla CEO Elon Musk unveiled a humanoid robot, saying that it would be a general-purpose machine that would perform a wide range of tasks. On April 7, 2022, during the Giga Texas launch event, Musk said that Tesla could start production of the first version of the robot in 2023. During the 2021 earnings call, Musk tried to explain the importance of the company's new development. He said that in terms of the priority of products, the humanoid robot is the most important product development that Tesla is doing that year. In addition, Musk explained that Optimus has the potential to become more significant than the vehicle business over time. 
Musk recently announced that Tesla will move AI Day from August to September 30. He justified this by the fact that by that time, the Optimus prototype may already be ready, and the team is actively busy making it possible. During the annual shareholder meeting on August 4, 2022, Tesla showed off the image for AI Day in September. It showed Optimus hands folded in the shape of a heart. Although at first glance, the image may look like a computer graphic, it probably is not. In fact, it is likely that the prototype is already ready, or at least close to completion, although it is difficult to say anything specific about the software for it. Also, Optimus heart-shaped hands are surely more than just a cute and attractive move. First and foremost, Tesla Bot is a general-purpose droid, a kind of work droid. Its initial tasks are repetitive, boring or dangerous work basically, a job that people do not want to do. However, there is something more. At the end of last year, Musk joined Lex Friedman on a podcast and said that Tesla Bot can develop a personality, taking into account the characteristics and wishes of their owners. In fact, Optimus will be created in such a way that it loves a person and becomes a friend to him or her. Moving to the next update, Tesla manufactures its 3 millionth car. Tesla has come a long way from the scrappy startup many people doubted would survive. It has recently announced the production of its 3 millionth car. The American company was created in 2004 but started production in 2008. CEO Elon Musk broke the news of the milestone at Tesla's shareholders meeting, noting, the 3 millionth car was made some weeks ago. It reached the 1 million mark in March 2020. The Fremont factory is responsible for most of the production, manufacturing its 2 millionth car last month. Three other factories, Giga Shanghai, Giga Berlin, and Giga Texas, are ramping up production. Tesla is also expanding Giga Shanghai by adding a new facility, capable of 450,000 units per annum. Commenting on the future, Musk said he would be surprised if Tesla did not surpass the 100 million mark. That may look unrealistic, but the company is aiming for a 20 million per year manufacturing capacity by 2030. Musk said Tesla would need about 12 gigafactories to meet that goal. In the short term, Tesla wants to end 2022 with a 2 million production capacity. He also said Tesla would probably select the site for a new gigafactory before the end of this year. However, there have been reports that Musk had agreed to build the next gigafactory in Indonesia. Moving to the last update, Tesla Model Y is on track to be the world's best-selling car. Tesla revealed that Model Y is on track to be the world's highest-selling car by revenue this year, and it will likely be the best-selling vehicle by total volume next year. It's already the world's best-selling electric car. People often like to poke fun at Tesla CEO Elon Musk for his predictions that didn't turn out to be true, and rightfully so, especially for things like his self-driving timeline, but we also have to give credit where credit is due. Before Tesla ever brought the Model Y to market in 2020, Musk made some bold predictions about how popular the vehicle will become. Musk said that he anticipated Model Y demand would be about twice as high as demand for Model 3 which was already the best-selling electric car at the time. Back in 2016, the CEO put demand for the Model Y between 500,000 to 1 million units per year. That was four years before releasing the vehicle. Now after two years on the market, Musk's predictions are becoming true. At Tesla's annual shareholders meeting, Musk made the announcement that the Tesla Model Y is on track to become the world's best-selling vehicle. More specifically, the electric SUV is going to be the best-selling vehicle in the world by revenue this year, and the company expects that it will be the best-selling vehicle by volume next year, once Tesla has ramped up production at Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. Currently, the best-selling vehicle in the world is Toyota Corolla, with around 1,150,000 sales. Tesla doesn't break down sales between the Model 3 and Model Y, but the latter is expected to have surpassed the former, and Tesla is reporting a capacity of around 300,000 of those vehicles per quarter. At Gigafactory Texas and Berlin, 
Tesla is exclusively producing the Model Y SUV. By the end of the year, Tesla is expected to have the capacity to produce over 1 million Model Y vehicles per year. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.